Right? Come on in. Come on in. Grab a seat. If you brought a drink with you, because today we have another sponsored Timu Hall. Um, this is my second. And I, before I forget, I do want to thank Timu for the seed money and for taking me into their influencer program. This is uh, miscellaneous household type of appliances. So there's a lot of household stuff in here. There's some stuff in here I've never hauled before. And I have seen a few people haul these things. But I figured, you know what? I'm going to check it out myself. So for those of you who are coming back, thank you. It's good to see you again. It's good to have you back. And for those of you who have never been here before, hi. My name is Connie. And you have just entered Connie's little corner. Uh, this is still my alternate corner this morning. It's still a little over 100 degrees, even though it's the last day of August. And tomorrow is September 1st. Um, August down here in the greater Phoenix metro area has been pretty much a carbon copy of what July was. So I had my beverage. We hope you all had yours. Brought a snack. This is going to take a while. I will put all the prices and the links to every item down in the bottom. If they are sold out, I will mark them as being sold out. But remember, even an item that's sold out, you can go into that item and click on Notify Me so that when it comes back in the stock, you'll still be able to get it. All right. Somewhere up here, I'll have prices put there as well for you, okay? All right, let's get started. I don't even know what I'm going to grab out of this bag. There's a big thing in the way, so I'm going to grab the big thing that's in the way. Special bags. I love these special bags that come with the Chinu Influencer Packages. All right. Oh, before I forget, if you're new here, down in the description box, there's a link that will take you to Timu. Everyone can use that link, even if you're not new. All right. And that link will get you to spin the daily box uh, so that you get a daily award. New users can win up to $100 in a coupon bundle. And my code, which is AF. C95851 will get new users 50% off your first order. That's amazing. Don't pass it up because we don't know how long it's going to last. It might go back to 30%, but right now it's at 50%. Go for it. All right. First item. And again, you're not going to hear me say the prices because um, they'll be down below or up here. <laughs> This is a dumpling maker. Now, I did get a couple of the plasticky type dumpling makers, but I found that when I filled them with something a little heavier, like if I made them into like little mini pizza bites or something, um, I just wasn't getting the locking that I was looking for. So I picked up a stainless steel one. This is stainless steel. It's got good solid hinges on it. Here's the thing. This is a two part piece. This bottom edge. All right, around here. This is not sharp enough to cut your finger, but it is sharp so that you can cut your dough. When you roll out your dough, you use this to cut out your circles. All right, and then you just put your circles up here on top. Fill the well with your fillings. And it only takes about, well, I would say to be in the safe side, probably about two teaspoons I figured out when I measured it. But two teaspoons, it will look a little shy, but you have to remember, it's actually going to end up on a half. So when you fold it over, it's going to press it down tight. All right, the teeth in here will interlock and give you that squeeze. So this is nice and sturdy. All right, I do like this. I think this is going to work great for my heavier pierogies or my heavier little um, dumplings with, the, 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 with more of a filling. The plastic ones were great for the filling that had like... Um, just like mashed potatoes and onions or mashed potatoes and cheese and onions. Or I actually made one that had mashed potatoes, cheese, and bacon in it. And, oh, boy, is that good. All right, next. Don't get me started about food. It's early and I uh, haven't had my breakfast. You may have seen these, and I wanted to get them because, as you all know, I have two dogs in the house. These are dog hair catchers for your laundry. Look at the cute little faces on these. Isn't that absolutely adorable? Look at that cute little face. How can you not love that little face? Comes in a three pack. You can get these also in blue. I went with the orange because you know me, Southwestern. I want to get a little bit more 
of that. But um, yeah, there's that cute little face, little bear face. You can throw these in the washer and in the dryer. So my plan is to throw probably one or two of them into the washing machine, right? So that as it agitates, it's going to pick up um, the dog hair off the clothes and off the towels and even off their bedding. When I wash their bedding, it's incredible. And then the other one will go into the dryer to pick up anything else that might be left. Uh, so I'm going to try them out. And for the price, it's like, you know, you can't go wrong. They're very spongy. They're not real big. As you can see, they're smaller than the palm of my hand. But they're cute, 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 cute little faces. Upside down little face. Okay, there we go. Right side little face. Oh, turn it. Okay. Right side little face. Either way, it's a little face. Next, this bag in a bag has a whole bunch of stuff in it. I thought it was one thing, but it has a whole bunch of stuff in it. Okay. Y'all probably, well, people in my generation um, might know about putting baking soda in your refrigerator to absorb or odors, or they have now new containers that you can put things in that seal them a little bit better. But this um, is actually a little device that I got to go in the refrigerator. It comes in multiple colors. I got the purple, right? It's a really dark purple, almost like a plum, right? I love the way it says good luck. I hope that doesn't mean good luck using it, but the top comes off. Right. And as you can see, it has a little pack of charcoal filter in here. Right. So what it does is it basically filters the odors and sucks the odors and absorbs them. There's a little clip on the back. Can you see this little clip? It slides over the edge of one of your uh, door shelves. In other words, when you open the door and you have little side shelves, it slides over that hanging outside the shelf, not inside the shelf. And it'll absorb absorb the odors. I love that you can move it from shelf to shelf because for me, there is a shelf where I keep like onions and things like that away from other food. So that's the shelf that I'm going to want to be picking up the odors from. But we'll see how this works right now. I love how sturdy it is. It's a great size. It's exactly as it was described in the picture. And the filter on the inside is even bigger and better than I thought. Now, I don't know if they have replacement filters for this or not. But if you, you can see it, it tucks in, it's open. So it looks like you might be able to get replacement filling. And that's something I'll have to look into. But we'll see what happens. Refrigerator filter. Great idea, especially in this house. Next. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, looky, looky. A little washing machine in a box. Isn't that cool? A washing machine in the box. I wanted to get this because a lot of times there's things that I want to wash in the big basin out in the uh, the wash tub out in the garage. And I don't want to necessarily put things in the laundry, but I do want to give them a good wash, like my paint rags and things like that. I, I want to wash those in the basin. I don't want to wash those. So it does come with instructions. It's called a turbo washer. All right. Turbo washer. And the instructions are in English. Yes, I'm still excited about that because it's not happening often enough yet. All right. In this, it is USB powered, but this is a long cord. All right. Let me take it out of the little bag. This is a very long cord. I like this. All right. And it, the cord is permanently attached. All right. It's got three suction cups on the bottom so that you can either suck it down to the bottom of the tub or you can put it on the side if you're using it in a bucket. It also has, I don't know if you can see here, hold on, oh, they're sliding all over the place. It has two suction cups on the cord itself, all right? Two cups, two, two suction cups on the cord. That's so that as you run it out to plug it in, in other words, as you run it out of the water, you can hold it up against the side where whatever you're washing is not going to catch on it, or you can hold one to the bottom, one to the side. Either way, this is a long cord, I do believe, it's going to be probably close to six feet because I know right now it's at over two and a half feet and it's only part way out. So I would estimate this is between five and six feet. This is a little agitator. All right. The top spins. Right. When you plug it in and what it does is it makes the water in whatever tub you're using. It swirls the water. So it basically moves everything around and it does go in both directions. There's really no settings on it whatsoever. You just plug it in. And let it go. And it will spin things around all right, to get them washed without you having to sit there and scrub. 
So this is great if you're traveling. I, I have another item in here that that's kind of goes with this. If you're traveling, you go anywhere on vacation or whatever the case may be. This is a great way. You can just bring this device, lay it in a sink in maybe your hotel room, or whatever. If you want, want to wash your delicates, just pop this in there, plug it in, and you can wash your delicates, hang them up, let them dry overnight. This is great uh, for anything along those lines. Nylons, washing nylons. There's nothing sharp on here. All right. It's very smooth. No sharp edges whatsoever. Right. Absolutely easy to use. Love that. And it's small. As you can see, it's compact. It fits in the palm of my hand. So it's about the size of a softball, I would say, because that's about, yeah, that's about the size of a softball, except for it's flatter. It's not quite as round as a softball. But great little idea for when you're traveling. Now, to go with this, let me pull out this item because I know it's in here. Oh, my gosh. I hope I can get it out. Okay. To go with this, I got a five liter collapsible bucket. Now, they do have five and ten liters, so you can get two different sizes. But I got the five liter. This is a bucket. Look how thin this is. This thing is only about two inches when it's collapsed. It does have a handle, right? But to open it up, you just put your hands inside of it and push. So you can push it to this level, which is like uh, probably about six inches deep, right? And I'm going to show you while I have it only at six inches deep, right? Just being this deep, I can take this little device and it'll fit. right down in the center with plenty of room to spare. So this would be your clothes and whatever would be swishing in around it. Then this bucket can go even out more. Okay, and I did that without breaking a nail. <laughs> Teach you guys how to do this kind of stuff with nails. So this is your bucket. It comes in a lot of different colors. I just got it in this nice green. Again, it has the handle. So we can go a little bit deeper if there's something more that you want to put in it. So it's perfect for traveling. Folds down easy. That's it. Just push on the bottom. And it collapses right back in on itself. All right. Nice and easy to do that. Loving this. Loving this. It seems pretty sturdy. The handle is not detachable. But I don't know if you'd want it to be. It does have a hook here. So when you collapse it, if you want to put it up on the wall, you can put it up on the wall. I like that. And then this to go with it. So technically, you could bring both these. If you're camping, if you have a place to plug in USB, this is perfect for not having to run to the laundromat. If you want to do something, say maybe you're out camping for a week or 10 days, this is great for little stuff. This is also a great wash bucket. Not just for clothes, but, you know, for rags, uh, dishcloths, things like that that you use, maybe your, your cloth for your sink. So that's an absolutely wonderful combination. This is five liter. They do come in a bigger bucket, which is 10 liter. If you look on the website, the picture they have of somebody carrying it to wash the car, that's the 10 liter size. So that'll give you an idea of what it is. But there you go. Nice little portable bucket. Love that. With the machine to wash it. Great ideas, right? Thank you for this, Timu. Everything here was gifted by Timu. This is all from my seed money that they gave me. And they've upgraded me to a level five, which I'm like floored when I got that. So I have another order coming uh, from seed money that is for um, house and garden. That one was fun. Because you got to remember, down here in Arizona, now we're getting into our season. Um, well, pretty soon I'll be able to get outside and work on my garden. All right, let me get the last few things out of this bag. Oh, we love these nice bags. These are the ones that I've saved. All right, let's stick that over there. Okay. Keeping with household, dryer brush. All right, hang on. i got to get my little friend here. Here he comes. All right. This is a bendable, whoa, dryer brush. This is when you remove your vent filter, you clean the hair off, but you can't get down inside. 
This will get deep down inside. This whole thing, when opened up, is almost 36 inches. I think it's about 30 inches long. Solid wooden handle, really nice wooden handle, solid metal. These bristles are really um, firm, very, very, very firm. Right. And it's got the rubber tip on the end so that it's not going to damage or scratch anything on its way in. So this is great for cleaning in the dryer vent. This is also good if you want to uh, go from outside in to where your dryer vent comes out. You can do that. Pull some extra lint out that might be in the hose. All right. So this will be great for getting in the hose. And because you can bend it, this will also go under the machines. Right. And under the refrigerator. That's a bonus, right? So you don't have to have a separate thing to go under the refrigerator. Or if you have a floor standing stove, this will go under the stove. So whatever you can think of that you need to get under. Um, I have a sideboard in the living room that's very low and my vacuum won't fit under it. So I'm going to try this under it. I think this is going to be great for catching and pulling anything that it needs to. So again, they call it for dryer lint remover. Think outside the box, right? I just saved myself having to buy several different things to use throughout the house by picking that one item that I can use everywhere. Okay, next. This might be close to an hour. <laughs> you gotta, hang on a second. While I think about that, let me get a drink. Oh. I posted in my community post. I did the uh, YouTube comment picker. Yesterday, because the comments closed at midnight on Tuesday night. So yesterday morning, 7 a.m., <laughs> so excited to see who was going to win. I did the comment picker. I spun it. And our winner is Jennifer F. is in Frank. Jennifer and I have communicated via uh, email and text. And she is selecting her items. Um, once she has everything selected and I have everything created for her, I will be doing a video to show you everything that she won. And my next um, goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. So we have September, October, November, and December. We have four months for me to hit that. And then I will be doing a Timu reward, a Timu thank you to my 1,000 subscribers um, so that they can. Basically, yeah, be thanked for helping my channel to grow. Love it. Okay, next item. Now, this, I believe, takes batteries. You can see it's got a little battery uh, case down on the bottom. It's got all, here's all the buttons, all right, for controlling it. I know it looks like a plain little cube, right? It's a clock. Right? It doesn't have any batteries in it right now, but it's actually a clock. Let me see. Hold on a minute here. This is what it looks like. Okay. It's just a color changing little cube clock. Very small, probably about four inches square. It looks like a giant die, doesn't it? Like one half of a set of dice. But it's a color changing digital alarm clock. It does come with instructions. Hold on. You know what I'm looking for, right? <laughs> Let's see. And da, 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 da. English instructions. English instructions for the alarm clock. How to set it. What button does what. Demonstrations. Illustrations. All right. So this is something I'm going to play with. Yes, believe it or not, I do not use my cell phone in the bedroom. Um, for a clock, etc. It goes in the holder overnight to charge, and I don't have a clock on my nightstand. So, yeah, this. We'll see how it goes. All right. It has all the different buttons for, let's see, tap it to change the colors once the colors are in there, time up, time down, set the time, alarm, and again, tap. So, We'll see what happens. Uh, it is battery operated. I do have to put the batteries in it. I don't think. Yeah. Looks like it takes two batteries. Excuse me, three batteries. And it's the little triple A's. 
So I'll see if I can find some AAA somewhere around the house. Oh, hold on. I might have some in my desk. Hold on. I do have some in my desk. Right here. We're going to see if this thing works. No time like the present, right? All right. So apparently it takes three of these. Ah, I'm throwing them all over the place. All right. Let's see what we got here. One. Get in there. Two and three. Can you hear that? Old Lang Syne is what it was just playing. <laughs> I guess that's it letting me know that it's on. All right, let's do it this way. Okay, so I'm not sure why, but the buttons are on the bottom which is weird, but you can see it says the time, it has the date, Thursday, well, it says Thursday, but it'll give, once I set it, it'll give me the date, and then down here below, it gives me the temperature, and right now, that's in Celsius, 27 Celsius, so that's probably around 70 something, all right, so let's see what we can do, all right, so this is to set the time, and right now it's 9.26 a.m., so I think I want to go down. Doesn't want to do it. Okay, set the time. Go down to 9, and then go up. Oops. Go down to 9. Hit set again. And go up. So I hit 26. Well, in this case, it's probably going to be 27. 27. Okay. And set. All right. Don't know why it's showing that because I did just set it. But that's all right. Um, I'll have to play with it a little bit, but that's how easy it is. Now, if I tap, I don't know what's going to happen. Oh. Cool. Look at this. This is a greenish blue. Now it's going to blue. Purple. Let me pull it back a little bit. Lighter purplish. White. Blue. Look at the colors changing. That's so cool. Let's see what happens if I push it on the other end. All right, so I'm going to have to figure out if there's a way to stop it from doing that because I think that just might drive me crazy if it color changes like that all this long. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it's really cool. There we go, 928. Okay, so now it's showing the time. I didn't set the date yet. Very cool. All right, I love that. I'm going to pop the, one of the batteries out so that it doesn't keep going until I have a chance to actually – work on it then that's really cool all right so i think that would be fun for a kid's room um a living room your game room or entertainment room i'll have to read the instructions to figure out if it's going to keep me up all night if i keep it in my bedroom um but i'm pretty sure there's probably a way that i can stop the colors from going anyway cool item right love that gotta save the instructions okay Next item. This is, it says multifunction cleaner. This is a jewelry cleaner, a sonic jewelry cleaner. And operating instructions in English. Okay, it's got a little operating manual. Cute little thing, not too big. It's got an on-off switch over here. It runs on batteries. There's your battery box on the bottom. Probably also runs on the same little ones. Yep, it runs on the little ones. So it's a good thing I have a big supply of uh, AAA batteries. <laughs> Let's get that back in there. It's got suction cups on its feet. 
so that when it's running, as you know, these things vibrate. And the last thing you want is for this to be walking across your counter. Right? It's got a nice little cover. Here's your well. The well is probably about an inch and a half deep. All right. You fill your well with whatever you want to use. Typically, depending on what I'm cleaning, what jewelry pieces I'm cleaning, I might just use dish detergent to do it. Uh, sometimes I use shampoo or baby shampoo. Um, I always make sure I use warm water. But I don't want to use anything more than a couple of drops of dish detergent or something because you don't want it to get really foamy. Um, you just want it to clean. Never, ever, ever put anything like Tarnex or anything harsh like an alcohol base or anything along those lines in here because this is plastic. All right. It will start to eat away at the finish, especially the Tarnex. But, yeah, this is a perfect little thing. And I've always been cleaning the jewelry that I make. After I make it, I give it a good cleaning. Um but I've always been doing it by hand, like with a little toothbrush or a, a woofer brush. So I thought, well, it's about time I invested in a little jewelry cleaning machine. Necklaces, pendants, anything, even if it has gems, you can put it in here because this is supposedly very, very gentle. And we will see. Um, I've had a couple of these before, but they were electric and they were really powerful. But I'm thinking this is going to work right for me. Hold on. Let me stick that over there. Okay, let's see what else is in this little magic bag. Oh, my gosh, more stuff. Okay, we're getting there. Another one of these real nice bags. Now, see, they pack, I wish they packed everything the way they pack these sponsored bags. Because the sponsored, number one, they come in these really thick Ziploc bags that are great for like storing sweaters or whatever the case may be that you want to protect and then tuck away. And that's exactly what I'm using them for. Um, but they also pack things much differently in here. Okay. Let's see. All right. Look, I got a rice washer, but for me, I got it as a vegetable washer. I used to just use a strainer that was really oversized and it was a clean in the middle. But, this is the vegetable washer. They call it a rice washer or a rice cup. It has the holes on the end for draining. It has a nice little handle over here. All right. It's not too, too big. I imagine it'll hold about a quart. I would say probably a quart. I'm trying to let the focus set in on this. All right. There we go. So for me, it's going to be a matter of being able to put fresh fruit in here and rinse it off. Uh, a lot of times things like mushrooms or after I slice potatoes when you slice potatoes you take the skins off they're all dirty so you got to put them in here to rinse them this is perfect because I can rinse them let the water drain out and then just toss them into whatever pan I'm using nice compact convenient very sturdy I love that it's really really sturdy and it's not too big it's not overbearing this is BPA free and dishwasher safe Right. And that's all I really need to know about it. You can tell by the plastic it'll stand up to somewhat heat. I wouldn't put it in anything boiling or oily. But if I wanted to pour, like say I was boiling potatoes for salad, if I wanted to pour them in here and then strain them out of here, I could do that. And then I could still use this as a bowl to hand smash them down. So, again, think outside the box. How many uses could you get out of this one item? Um, fresh cut green beans when you snap them. Great way to snap them right in here, rinse them, and then put them in the pot. Anything that you have to pre-cut that you might going to want to rinse. If you're peeling carrots and cutting them down, but you got to rinse them. Throw them here after you cut them, rinse them off, pour them in the pan. Right? Lots of different uses for this. Lots, lots, lots. Love that. All right. I'm a happy camper with that one. And I think yep, this is the last item out of the bag. I'm a major coffee drinker. If you remember some of my previous videos, I talked about getting little pins um, to put on my hats. And you notice I do have one of my pins up here. Oops, hold on. I just put my head, my hand over it. Can you see that pen? All right. That's the burning bra. And it says it's lit. I just matched this hat perfectly. I'm like, that's it. It's got to go on this hat. So it'll probably stay on this hat, too. 
Um, but anyway, I had coffee pins and I've gotten coffee earrings and things like that. Um, different coffee things to use. Well, this is for under my coffee pot. Can you see this? This is just a big pad to go underneath my coffee pot. Hold on. My system is jumping. I'm not sure why. All right. I got it. It's very rubbery. It's got a no skid back to it. The front is smooth and easy to wipe down. This one is about, I would say, probably 15 inches by, well, maybe. This one's it's probably closer to 12, yeah, 15 or 16 inches by about 12 down the side. So it's a good, and it's heavy. It's a good, heavy mat. You could put this under anything you want. I got it to go under my coffee pot so that I can put all my accoutrements and whatnot off to the side, and I would have something easy to wipe up coffee spills, splashes, spilled sugar, whatever the case may be. But I suppose you could put this like under a blender, under a mixer, um, under anything that you have on your counter that you want to make a cleanup easy. So that's what this is for. All right. Plug that. I'm happy. I can't wait to put these things into use today. That's it. Um, again, I want to thank Timu for sponsoring this video. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, put them down below. Please check out all the information that I put below in the description box. I am almost finished with part one of tips and tricks, which is going to be shopping strategies. Um, hopefully I can get that out so that you guys can go shopping this weekend. This is Labor Day weekend coming. All right. So you're going to definitely take want to take advantage of my link and my code if you're a new user. Oh, my gosh. Get 50 percent off your first order. And go crazy shopping uh, because Timu was having enormous sales on everything in every category. Um, I did an order myself yesterday and I said I had to get in on the savings. Uh, even though I don't get the 50% discount, I had to get in on the savings. So if you enjoyed this haul, thanks to Timu. If you like some of the household items that I showed you, please, by all means, give me a big thumbs up, like, Share this so that all your friends and families can see the great bargains that they can get at Timu um, and the quality of items that they can get. And please, 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 if you haven't already, I'm not sure why, but if you haven't, please subscribe. Please, pretty please. <laughs> Thank you. I do want to hopefully reach my goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. But as soon as I reach that, I will be doing another thank you to all my subscribers and all my viewers for hanging in there with me. So as usual, I am going to have to say, stay cool. It's still over, well over 100 degrees down here in Arizona. Stay cool. Stay calm. Above all else, stay sweet. Stay hydrated. And I will catch you again in a couple of days. <laughs>